Okay, hello, dear friends. Good evening. Such a beautiful, beautiful, quiet evening. Are we in the right Zoom? Yes. And some friends ask me to do a video about uh, uh, math algebra, and、um, my son is already、uh, over this algebra, and、uh, they are going to college. So I have lost my source of、uh, problems. So I just、uh, think about some problem first because this is、uh, the new year, year two thousand twenty. So I made、uh, some problem. I made some problems that、uh, surrounding this、uh, number of two thousand twenty, two thousand nineteen, something like it. First, two thousand twenty square. Oh oh, let me change a better pen. This is shaky pen, but not so strong. We use a strong pen, not in a rush. I write it again. Write it again. Two thousand twenty square minus four over two thousand eighteen. Two thousand twenty square minus four divided by two thousand eighteen. So when you see this problem, try to find the relationship of the numbers. If you square it and then minus this number and then do the divide, it might be too complicated. Two thousand twenty and two thousand eighteen. There is only two. Difference. Oh, there is a s. Four. Four is the square of two. At this time, you can think about a formula. A square minus B square equal to a plus B times a minus B. Does it make sense? So, two thousand. Twenty square minus two square. So this formula, you can we will write it step by step on this side. Okay, this is the reference. I will use another pen to write it. So this is the reference we use. We have the pre knowledge of these to help us solve solve this problem. I will write it like this. So. You can easily see it: two thousand twenty square minus two square over two thousand eighteen. Now we can see two thousand twenty square a square minus two square minus b square, so equal to. So the upper part we can dismantle it into two thousand twenty minus plus two. Times two thousand twenty minus two over two thousand eighteen makes sense. So this is two thousand eighteen, and we can cross cancel. Do I need to write down it equal to two thousand eighteen? Let me just write it down. So cross cancel, and the result is two thousand twenty two. That is the result. Okay, another problem also is for year two thousand nineteen. So we have this one: five, four, um, seven times two thousand nineteen plus four, five, three. Times two thousand nineteen, and、uh, whenever we do the problem in math, oh oh, you can see it, right? So whenever we do math problem with the students, students want to. It's very often they want to solve the problem and they immediately do the calculation. Two thousand five four seven seven nine nine six six 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 nine six six
you solve the problem and you see the number relations. And I heard some school cannot, is forbidden to say、uh, tricks. I teach you a trick. This is not a trick. So if I work in that school, but I do not work in that school, if I work in that school, I will not be banned. Some school ban the word trick. This is not a trick. You need to see the relationship of the number. So 2019, 2019. Let's take this as an A. Take this as an A. So such a bundle of A plus another bundle of A equal to the whole bundle times A. So equal to five, four, seven. Plus four three four four five three times you take out the common multiple. Two thousand nineteen is the common, not common multiple, common factor of the whole number times two thousand nineteen. Now we can see this is one thousand, right? Three plus seven is ten,、uh, nine, nine, and then it moves one step up. It's Jin、um, Wei. It uh, it uh, goes one step up, borrowing and uh, adding and uh, increasing. Anyway, this is one thousand times two thousand nineteen. So two zero one nine. Zero 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 three zero, so two million,、um, two million nineteen thousand. That is the result. Is that、uh, interesting? Okay, hello, dear friends. So this question is find the product of x on x times y. If two to the power of x plus three. To the power of y equal to five, and two to the power of x plus two plus three to the power of y plus one equal to five. Ah,、uh, equal to eighteen. Sorry, I wrote it wrong. Okay, that is the problem. So we can see. Two to the power of x. We take this as a base, because we see the exponential. It's just too complicated. The number x is not on the base. It's the exponential power, and、um, it becomes complicated. So you, before you have a clear idea, try to think how you can move around with it. So. Two to the power of x plus two. This we can rewrite as four times two times two, so times four times two to the power of x plus three to the y to the power of y plus one equal to three times three to the power of y, right? Equal to eighteen. Now we can see one variable, another variable. We become two variables. Let's establish two to the power of x equal to a, and three to the power of y equal to b. You do not need to write it if you are clear enough. I just write it down so that it is easier for us to see the problem, to see the number without too many, too heavy weighted、uh, way of writing. So a, you can see a plus b is five, because we substitute a with the number. A plus b equal to five, and four a plus Three b equal to eighteen. Now we can solve the problem, right? We can make b equal to a minus uh five 
minus a right through this change and then we plug in the the number 4a plus 3 times b so it's 15 minus 3a equal to 18. Mm -mm, I am a little bit out of uh, the range of paper so a equal to 3. Now we get a equal to 3 and b equal to, to how many? 3 plus a number equal to 5 b b equal to 2. Now we get this. So 2 to the power of x equal to 3 and 3 to the power of y equal to equal to 2. And x will be quite a complicated number. Now you see. But we can take log. Log two to the power of x equal to log three, right? And here we can take so x times log two equal to log three x equal to log 2 log 3 over log 2. This is x. And the same thing we can do here. I am running out of paper. We can take log of this one. Log 3 to the power of y equal to log 2 and y times log y times log 3 equal to log 2 y equal to log 2 over log 3 now we have x we have y. We do not need to calculate the exact number because it's uh, you, you will need to use calculator and they are not asking that. Now we just need to find x times y, the product. x times y equal to x is log 3 over log 2 times log 2 over log 3 equal to cross cancel equal to 1. So x and y, they are reciprocal. They are reciprocal. And that is x times y equal to 1. x and y is reciprocal. And we got the answer of this problem x times y equal to the product product of x and y is 1